Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. If you click on the uh, description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that, it'll bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camp. Okay, oh, I always forget that. Not to put that out there. I never forget that. There we go. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes, you know, sometimes there could just be messages throughout this that could just jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just finish laying these cards be quiet cash my cash that's my jack chi for those of you who are familiar um so let me just take these in and i will be back. So Virgo, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, you know, if you don't if you find that this doesn't resonate, you can always check out your other uh, readings for this month of May, um, Virgo. So let's start your reading. So just looking at the past, I always kind of want to, you know, cover some ground when it comes to the past, just so I can... You know, see what's contributed to where you're both at, at the moment. So the theme is a dip around a decision, a decision about something when it comes to this relationship. So a decision had been made. That decision could be around you guys continuing the relationship. And I feel like it has to do with that as I pull the Empress card. The Empress card talks about a birthing of something. Um, that could be kids, that could be family, could be the birth whatever the buffing of something so it seems like there was a decision made around the buffing of something something that you could possibly already buff because we do have the king here and that buffing could be just simply the relationship that you've established with this person seems like you've definitely established something you've achieved something you've built something with that king there but for you it seems like there was and again this is the past it seems like there was some focus on trying to maintain that, trying to keep that standing. Um, the pressure was on you to do that for some reason, to keep that standing. Yeah, that's as best as I can explain that one, Virgo. It's to keep that standing. Yeah, protect it all, almost. I would go so far as to say as well, not letting anyone know, keeping things to yourself with that four heads of fours. Yeah, um, but yeah, just really about protecting that or trying to maintain that, keep that standard. We've got the high priestess there as well. So this could be someone that you view as, you know, we, when we're talking about the high priestess in relation to, you know, connection, we're talking about, you know, deep spiritual connection, soulmate, uh, twin flame type of thing, if you believe in that type of thing. For your person, it's interesting because there was some information. It's like they received some information that gave them some form of a wake-up call, made them realize something, go through some form of realization or an epiphany, which has caused them to put up their guards and be conscious about how they move and handle things. Virgo. Yeah, but the nine, they're still holding on the So they're waiting for some information or waiting for something. So there was something that came to this person, some information or some thing that they saw. I feel like it's more to do with some information that came to them, which caused them to have an epiphany 
um, but it caused them to put up their guards. Still move forward with the with the six of swords. They still still move forward, but be consciously aware about how they're moving or how they're doing, how they're handling things. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, choice. The choice to do so. The choice to do so. Having the choice to do so. Yeah, so it brings us to where we are at the moment. Again, we've got that theme on the two, a decision having been made. Yeah. But you're in a better place in terms of just how you're feeling. Uh, there we go. You've got the Queen of Wands, so that's more about kind of feeling good about yourself. It's like you put in the work, and even for some of you, still kind of focused on this still work to do, there's still uh, a journey to take, but there is this feeling better about things. I feel like the pressure's off slightly for a lot of you as well when it comes to just what was going on for you in the past. Focus is very much on just, you know, emotional happiness. I feel like that's coming from a place of just how far you've come. <laughs> how far you've come, you've gone through a sticky patch and you're just in a better place. You're just in a better place with this. I won't go so far. Well, maybe for some of you, it feels like celebrating. Something around celebration, let's say that. But definitely focusing on um, happiness now with the nine of cups there. We've got the king of pentacles. Yeah. So there is this. Uh, and that happiness is coming from a feeling of being reassured. Or even, you know, the hope has beaten that. And it's never so much hope. It's being a feeling of being sure that you're able to maintain that now. Or that's easier to maintain. Your challenge is quite interesting, though. We have the Knight of Cups, which talks about hesitation, slow moving. I feel like there's something around you being slow to open up emotionally. But we'll clarify that in a bit. Your person. Let me make sure that's still on person. Your person is the Knight of Blades. So there's a bit of recklessness that's going on for them. Virgo. That could be displayed in... They're not being grounded. They're not very much grounded. They're kind of thinking in an immature way. And that could be being expressed, like I said, by rushing, not being, not looking at the, the, the small details, the fine print, uh, just kind of being a bit wreck. It's like, how do I explain that? How do I explain that? It's like, be, being careless, being slightly, there's a careless energy to that. A, a reckless, I call it reckless, but you guys might even resonate if I say careless. Um, what's on their mind though, what's their thinking? Is that Ace of Cups, love, the offering of love, or... Hmm. I'm not sure what this information was about, but it's caused this person to have insight into this. Is I want to say questioning, but it's like they're kind of questioning questioning is it maybe safe to love or the love that they, they've been offering you um it's like they're paying attention to that let me pull on that let's see if we can get some clarity and maybe jog some jog my yeah got the shadow side for foundation yeah, whatever it is that's come on here, it's planted a seed in this person's head and it's causing them to look a bit closely at this either love that they already expressed to you or they have for you or this love that they potentially can give to you. Their challenge is now it's caused them to be indecisive. So it's tying back to this again, this recklessness as well. It's like, I'm in this, but I'm, I'm, I haven't come to the conclusion yet. I haven't dealt with this stuff yet so I'm just kind of acting a bit reckless that makes sense this person there's a conversation that needs to happen so we've got a lack of clarity here about around whether they can actually move forward with 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 this and not to say they're not going to move forward but it's just this on and off hot and cold undecisive indecisive yes one minute yes one minute no next minute I know next minute I'm not sure and I don't feel like they're expressing that to you they could have they could have um, that could be contributing as to why you're hesitant to open up or be fully open, even if you once had been fully open with this person. 
Yeah. So this is quite interesting. It's boiling back to this communication that's happened or this information that's come in. So let's continue this through part two of the reading, which should be showing up on the screen as we speak, guys. So click on that and I shall see you guys in a bit.